Gasoline by Audio Slave, because I want to. All right, so you go to my video about how to put your bad self in a drop B if you don't already know, but our strings are different now. We're in drop B. So go watch that if you don't know how to put yourself in drop B. Uh, this guitar does not like to be in drop B, so I apologize for any clanky weirdness that goes on here. Anyhow, beginning. We're gonna be, we're gonna still call this the E string and their names, etc. even though they're all different now so we don't get completely turned around. <laughs> So, open E string, 3 5, open 10 12 12, open, open 3 5, open 10 12 12, open 3 5, open 10 12 12. Then the fill is 5 5 3 5 3, open, and then I'm gonna go to the A string, 5th fret, because it's faster, but you'll see, uh, yeah, anyhow, because it's faster, we're only playing one note. Then, when the band kicks in, we start playing power chords. Just like drop D, drop B power chords are just like this. You have to do that while you do it too. So we're gonna be playing the three fat strings, the, the previously known as E, A, and D strings. We're gonna do the same thing we just did, but as power chords. So. But now the second time, instead of just open to begin, we're gonna go three open. And now you can either play it open, because there's some low action going there. I can't tell if it's the bass or the guitar, or you can play the 12th fret power chord, or you can go back to old power chord shape and play it on the A string 5th fret, D string 7th fret, G string 7th fret. Of course, then you can get the low B also. So I think I like that one the best. Because then you get all of it, so now confusion is unconfused. De-obfuscated. Uh, where were we? Uh, the verse! Right, so let's just do that one more time. So, intro. Frank, I'm not sure if it's, if the second time it's three open, pull off, that's when you just and take it off. Uh, the third time it might be just open or it might be three open. Use your ear balls and figure it out for yourselves. Uh, what was I just gonna say? Oh, that's a hammer on, hammer on, strum. I think I'm plucking all of those. Okay, the verse. This couldn't get easier because Tom Morello uses some kind of a tremolo pedal, which you can get, and then you can do it, but I don't have a tremolo pedal with me, so I'm just going to go like this. That's the D string, the previously known as the PKA, <laughs> the PKA D string, 7th uh, fret. And you can, if you want to sort of simulate it with your pick. A B string, eighth fret, seventh fret. House is haunted. I just want to go for a ride. Down to PKA C <laughs> on the A string, the PKA A string, third fret. Now to get that, you can go. String, third fret, second fret, or we have enough time to go back up to where we were doing it. So that's it. First half of the chorus, that was it. Same as the intro. Second half of the chorus. So that is open, no three open. 
three, five, like we were doing for the intro, but then we go from the D string, three open, A string, three open, now I've lost my thing. There we go, no three open. Three open D, three A, three, you know, fat string, and then three five on the A string. And then it goes again, that fill. Three, three, five, three. What? Five, five. Got my fives on my three. We I golfed nine holes yesterday and I only scored fives and threes. That must be what's going on. Okay. Five, five, three, five, three, open. Power chord. All right. Now, the second verse is the same as the first verse, the second chorus is the same as the first chorus, except for instead of, at the end it goes, 12, these are all power chords, drop D power chords, right? Drop B power chords. 12, 10, 7, 5, 3, 3, open, that's really fun to do. Okay, then we're into the solo section. And then that's it. Okay, so here's this weird one. This is really weird. I mean, this leads me to believe that perhaps I don't have the tuning right. I just did this by ear. I didn't look anything up or anything. This is a way you can do it. All the notes are right. I'm sure of it. But uh, maybe he's in like open B and that makes this work better or something. But this is a great way to do it. Here we go. Ready? You got to use your middle finger for this. G string. 7th fret, back to B6, B8, G7, E8, E10. See where all your fingers sort of end up if you're doing it this way. <laughs> this took me a couple of times of practice. <laughs> At the end, a couple of times before the solo, 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 which is actually pretty easy. Ready? He's got a wah pedal going, so bust out your wah pedals if you're gonna do it. So we got D12, down to 10, 12, G10, D12, and then all the pieces. At the end you can kind of figure it out. It, it goes between at that, there was some English. At the at the end it, it does a triple or a quadruple after and that's how you play Gasoline by Audio Slave in drop B, I think Tom Morello is a genius for coming up with riffs. They're just endless and they're all so great. So, uh, Tom Morello, I'm sure you're not watching, but in the off chance you do, thanks for all the fantastic riffs. I think you're a genius, like I just said. Okay, uh, we'll get back to your requests next time, tomorrow, maybe the next day. Thank you all for watching. 
I hope that was helpful. Goodbye and good luck.